happy fucking Wednesday. That's right, you useless cocksuckers. It's another episode of Christy Unleashed, and I am your host, Christy Miller, and this is my birthday edition, because today is my birthday, bitch. What? So we welcome you to page 666 of the Hollywood tabloids, because we're fucking assholes because that's how we roll yeah and with me as always as i get older and rotting in this fucking coffin and uh this makeup was done by a mortician good night thank you and uh (laughs) with me as always is my comedy husband because hey we don't sleep together that's why we're like a married couple get it (laughs) it's a legit marriage right (laughs) so uh he's my barney to my fred (laughs) my detective stabler to my olivia how you doing that was for you give it up for are you even italian mark riccadonna i don't even know my name is <laughs> it's so good to be here. Thank you for having me, and you are the best. And I, uh, I, I would like to say from everybody watching, happy birthday! How you doing? Forgot about it. <laughs> We're gonna light up some candles. We're gonna do a thing. We're gonna, you know, bury the bodies. You know, like how you doing? You know each body for each year of your life. So we're going to bury 51 fucking assholes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, isn't that what Cuomo did, sweetie? Get it? It's a nursery home thing. Forget it. I give up. <laughs> <laughs> and Andrew Cuomo, if you're watching, because you have no job, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> and Christy loves those unemployed motherfuckers. Yeah, I want some stimulus in this check. Hey, you doing? <laughs> in this bank home. Hey, you doing? I want you to sign up my unemployment line right here. <laughs> she got an empty coin purse that needs a filling. And guess what? It's vaccinated, so you don't even have to wear a mask. You don't have to wear a mask. No protection. Nope. How you doing? we could raw dog it Cuomo in Texas Mm because I won't get pregnant (laughs) (laughs) anyways how are you thanks for being always thanks for being here honey and it's it is my birthday and this is this is how I'm spending it happy birthday happy birthday you're hanging with a fat fuck are you talking about me again am I looking in the mirror about me (laughs) Oh, it's always about you. (laughs) And speaking of it being only about you, should we kick this party started? This birthday party? (laughs) Let's do it. How you doing? Forget about it. What are you going to do? All right, people. It's that time. Time to pour the Celebra Tea. All right, baby, let's pour this birthday tea, bitch. And what a way to start it off. Not a good birthday. Mm. Norm MacDonald has passed away. That means he did. (laughs) He would like that joke. Come on. Norm Here's MacDonald, oh, legend, beyond, beyond oh. legend. My poor wife, she's she's going to be mourning more than me. I think she loves Norm Macdonald. We and love I, his book. Yeah, everything about him was class. Oh, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm Norm Macdonald. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's, I like how he talks. It's just so dismissive. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> His bit about the, um, have you ever not watched a movie and someone asks and then you lie about it? Did you feel like it's, <laughs> that's my whole life. My whole <laughs> life has been people going, well, you know, you read that book, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I read that book. 
And then people are like, and then they start quizzing you on it. And you're like, oh, fuck, what did I do? <laughs> so, I don't have a convers- I was trying to move it along, uh, have a conversation about it. Well, that's why you just don't, if, remember an improv, yes, and keeps the action going. Yes, I have read that book. And no, you just say, I haven't read it. I don't, I, I tell people, even if I did read a book, I tell people I didn't read it because I go, I'm pretty. You know, I have a vagina. I don't read. I use my vagina to get things. I don't read things. <laughs> I don't need an instruction manual. I have a V instruction. <laughs> I say, insert tab A into slot V. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> you just get the silent laugh from me. <laughs> Nothing can come out. <laughs> That's better than a snort. Oh yeah, the silent. <laughs> it's like Abbott and Costello. <laughs> <laughs> Miller, you're killing it on your birthday. And on a so, story about death. I was gonna say, and so was, and I was gonna say, and so was Norm. <laughs> <laughs> Norm killed on my birthday. Cancer killed on my birthday. <laughs> oh. Uh, Norm, we're gonna miss you, you son of a bitch. Why did he have to go? Why could it be somebody not funny? Right? There's so many unfunny ones that I wish it was. There's so many unfunny people that just need to go. You're wasting stage time. You're wasting stage time. You're wasting the title comic. You're wasting oxygen. You know, There's a lot of people outside of comedy. I wish it was. I know. There's a lot of fucking people. I wish it was. Damn it. Not Norm. Norm, we love you and rest in peace, homie. And keep him laughing in heaven and tell Mooney I said I love him. And speaking of people that should have died, Wendy Williams. Crypt keeper herself. <laughs> Old yeah, Norm this week. <laughs> She's like the ghost of slavery's past. Come back. <laughs> she, she looks like ET with a wig. Oh God, she is just. She looks like she has no teeth. Like you know that. And that crackhead. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, Wendy, how are you doing? Well, you're not doing very well because they're wondering, will Wendy Williams return for her premiere amid health issues? Oh, shit. You know, she's been having problems with Graves' disease. I said, yeah, she can't get in the grave fast enough. Get out of here, sweetie. <laughs> well, she is the crypt keeper. Of course, Graves' disease is the first thing Hey, what about Peter Graves' disease? <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> That's an airplane movie joke, sweetie. <laughs> oh, I'll take, Miller's I'll I'll take references nobody will get for a hundred, Alex. <laughs> uh, poor Wendy. She's been canceling promo events for her premiere on September 20th, which is just in a few days. And they're wondering, will she be back? Will she not be back? Does anybody care? Well, that was going to be my question. How many people did they ask that said, who gives a fuck and who is that? Yeah. Well, no, they love her. That they, they do love her. And I loved her. Who? Her, her fans? Yes. Everyone yeah. else on the planet could give a <laughs> shit. Those 15 people are really disappointed. Well, I know three people that are, if she comes back. If she comes back. Three people that are disappointed. Nick Cannon, Jerry O'Connell, and Sherry Shepard, because they were filling in for her while she was sick last year, or in 2019. Oh, they probably would love to have the Crypt Keeper job. Oh, especially Sherry. <laughs> oh Hashtag not working. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be friends with Sherry Shepard. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We used to, comedy store. We used to roll. We used to do gay clubs together. She's, I loved her. And then she went born again and married that one guy, that pastor, whatever the fuck, or the exec. He's a total born again Christian. Gone. And then uh, they divorce, and now she's back to normal. And who knows what she's doing? 
God bless her. Sherry, come home, boo boo. I haven't seen Sherry in a year. Like since I opened for Mooney, I'm talking about 12, 13 years ago. I haven't seen her. So uh, anyway, so she could use, actually Sherry Shepard could use that job. She'd be good at it. She would. But anyway, I'll be on the, I'll be on the, I'm just kissing her ass to get a job, sweetie, for a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> i think you should be a writer for daytime tv oh Just spice it up a little right i i want my own show on daytime tv <laughs> i want this show actually i want this show on nighttime on late night oh that would be perfect but right you on daytime you can scare the fuck out of a bunch of ah uh, yeah but then i'd get some late nighters getting up before 3 p.m to watch <laughs> ratings i'd get the three gays that love me hey Imagine sweetie every, every karen would be writing in every single oh week. oh i'd have an ode to karen's bitch fuck you next <laughs> <laughs> i think you confronting karen's live on television would be a good show that would be a good show karen's versus christy yep <laughs> the celebrity karen match <laughs> <laughs> who can complain have, faster <laughs> get your fucking roller derby shit back out you got hell yeah out. or we can make a game show out of it like who could get to the phone fast enough through the obstacle course to call the police on the black person or because they don't they don't want to wear their mask how great would that game show be like an obstacle course it'll be American obstacle course hitting them with pads well, yeah or, or it'd be uh american ninja warrior you got to go through all this shit just to get to that cell phone to call the police <laughs> there's a black guy over here there's a there's a show there people that's a oh that's a good skit i gotta tell punky for snl anyway but speaking of uh shows that nobody gives a shit about the Met Gala happened this past oh, weekend. I thought this was classy until I got all your names that were there. Oh, it's never been classy, honey. <laughs> <laughs> no, never. This is the this who's looks more like the Mets Gala. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> That's our show. We've all been wonderful. Uh, yeah, they don't even make the playoffs at the Met Gala. <laughs> Even the Mets lose at the Met Gala. <laughs> <laughs> it's Daryl Strawberry over yeah. by a garbage can. Oh, smoking crack and Tom not so terrific. Tom, eh. <laughs> Seaver, you brought her. <laughs> well... <laughs> I think who should be designing the new Mets uniform this year because they should never show their face in public because they should be shamed publicly. Kim Kardashian arrives kid? in New York City in a wild all leather dominatrix ensemble. <laughs> and in Hell's Kitchen, we call that Thursday. <laughs> She looked like the gimp from Pulp Fiction. Oh, what she look? <laughs> she looks like a heavy metal, like it looks like one of those uh, heavy metal burkas. Like she's going into Afghanistan, <laughs> <laughs> but she's gonna rock. Rock. <laughs> I feel like as long as I keep the zipper on the mouth shut, I'm okay with that outfit. Okay, that is so chauvinistic and hot at the same time. I can't even take it. <laughs> well, if I said zip it open, but only for entrances. Oh, that put your cock in it. But you'll get your cock stuck in the zipper. Good night. Something about Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Something about Kimmy. Oh, but this outfit, this is actually, I'm not mad at it because, hi. It takes two seconds to put that zipper mask on. I just wish she had a ball gag just to make it the oh. full effect and have a leash and have her manager leading her in. That would be hot. But how great is that to wear that versus doing all this? Like I have a mask on too, but it's a lot faster. There's a zip and go. Well, the only reason they knew that was Kim Kardashian is because of that ass. <laughs> 
And the only reason they knew it was Kim Kardashian besides that ass is that uh, she goes, hi, it's Kim. <laughs> the only reason they knew it was Kim Kardashian is because her dickhead ex-husband wore the same outfit a couple weeks ago. Well, close. And <laughs> as you saw, that Kim Kardashian nods to Kanye with face obscuring mask at once she got to the Met Gala. Like she had the same stocking over her face as he did and she had a whole bot she looked like Catwoman, but like the outfit was too big and it pulled up over her head you know <laughs> what i mean but you know that was like her nod to kanye and uh she also arrived with a man in a mask and everybody was thinking is that kanye did she show up with kanye and at the end of the night the guy they both took their masks off and it was just some oh. nondescript dude Oh, I like, thinking. ha ha, I fooled you, and I would have gotten away with it too if I'd been for you meddling kids. <laughs> it was shaggy. Scoop. <laughs> Zoinks. <laughs> <laughs> it was the, Bob the Farmer. <laughs> oh, God. It's so fucking hilarious. It's like, it's like she was totally throwing, sh- I feel like she was throwing shade at Kanye the whole time. Yeah. Like she was totally throwing shade and upstaging him because his shit bombed. If if she was funnier, I would have thought that. But I feel like she's so dumb she wouldn't have even thought that. <laughs> but she has enough gay men around her. That's why they thought of it for her. Ooh. Light shade. Ready? Light shade. That's so like sh- a more you know shade. Yeah. Ring. <laughs> and the more you know or the more you unfollow <laughs> Kanye West briefly unfollows Kim Kardashian on Instagram amid divorce oh it's over people now we it's know it's over it's not over until somebody gets unfollowed honey over and he unfollowed her but it says Kanye West unfollowed Kim Kardashian on Instagram, but only briefly. So he had, I guess someone had a little doubt. But, you know, he cheated on her. And that's what that whole song Hurricane is about on her, uh, on his album after they had their second kid. Oh, I, I heard part of it. And I also listened to Drake's also. I'm going to like Drake's and I don't have to listen to either of them. I just know I don't like Kanye. So I don't like Kanye and I like, and I like Drake more than Kanye. That's not saying much, but Kanye's album was a little better. Really? <laughs> yeah. Drake's was bad. I was like, Ugh. I'm not a fan because it's too auto tuned for me. Oh. Like it's too, like, you know, the way his hairline, he has that Dominican haircut, that Caesar oh. and the perfect beard that Dominicans do. Like it's perfect perfectly quaff like not a hair out of place so it's perfection he's beautiful and then it's just like that's what his music makes me think of like a caesar haircut on a dominican guy and beard because it's so perfectly quaff and it's all auto-tuned and everything's put in place by the computer it doesn't feel i don't feel anything and everybody says it's like a total cry boy pour your heart out to a girl album i i just got annoyed by it i actually thought Kanye's was a little had a little more oomph to it a little more sack you know what I mean a little more bowls but I just I I was um yeah I was mad that I didn't like Drake's more than Kanye's and I don't like either one of them but yeah I'm gonna flat out say I'm probably not gonna listen either so yeah you probably won't and I'm not worried yep so he was uh following Def Leppard did a new one oh Got to get another arm for that one, sweetie. <laughs> Better drum beats. Right? Better beats, yo. Better electronics. But yeah, at one point, Kanye was following 12 people. And then a little bit later, he was following 15. So he picked Kim back up. So he's following her again. Like, it's, it's like, girl, girl, just let him just no. He's crazy. He's bipolar. I'm following. I'm not following. I'm following. I'm not following. I'm following. I'm not following. Hey, which side of the pill are you on today, sweetie? <laughs> fucking nerd. But whatever. That's he can keep her. Like she's crazy. Like she's so perfect and and smart. And those kids are gorgeous. Just just pretend he died. 
Just, just let him go. I grew up without a dad. Look how great I turned out. Kim, your kids could be doing a podcast with a fat guy. <laughs> and a fucking meathead in a mesh workout top and fake lashes. <laughs> the only woman who could outbench everybody in Hell's Kitchen <laughs> at the age of 51. <laughs> it's my birthday. And speaking of roasting your moms, Northwest roasts mom Kim Kardashian for using her influencer voice. All right, I'm going to cut to this clip right now. I can't wait to show you guys everything. Northeast Stom, that's so annoying. Um, I love that it's just like there's so many surprises and you, I just love seeing what's in them. There's so many different fun cute Why do I talk different for what? When for I, the videos. For my videos, I'm the same human being. I don't talk different. How do I talk different? Okay. Guys, do you think I talk different when I'm talking about contour? Yeah. You do too, Penelope? How, how do we talk? Guys. Guys, so today I got this little mask and these little bronzers. I got this. Is that what you, is that what I say? Is that what I sound like? That is, North, you need one of these. <laughs> what voice am I using? <laughs> Northy, stop. That's so annoying. Oh my God. <clears throat> You talk like mommy. Why do you talk different? <laughs> That's so funny. But, I love it. I love it. I love when your own kid can call you out and being when you're Kim Kardashian and your daughter, your oldest daughter is going. Come on, get your shit together. Come on, mom. I've seen you take a shit in front of me. What are you gonna talk all sweet and nice? Oh my god, look at my contour. <laughs> 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 Mom, that ass has blown more air than Hurricane Ida. <laughs> like, it is come break on. The internet. Oh, literally, if she sits on it. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, North. North's going to grow up to be my favorite Kardashian. She's going to grow up to be like, fuck all. You people are crazy. I live for her. I live I for Northwest. To change your name, though. No, I want her to keep it just to no, piss people off. Last because, name. She oh. should be north south now. No, she should. Well, there's north, south, east, west, and Psalm and and Compass and you know altitude. They have four. Yeah, north, south, east, and west. <laughs> keep your legs closed, you twat. <laughs> Well, she's had four of them. <laughs> she's had sex at least four times, not including Ray J. Get it? The sex tape. Are you listening down there? All right, thank you. <laughs> speaking of people who need to shut the fuck up, speaking of people that Northwest needs to roast, yes. hello. Nicki Minaj skips the Met Gala altogether over the, ma the vaccine mandate and makes impotence claim. I'm dead. I'm dead. Can we finally admit she's an idiot? I hope so. And her claim is that her cousin in Trinidad refuses to get the vaccine because his friend got it. It became impotent. That his testicles became swollen and his friend was just weeks away from getting married. And now the girl has called off the wedding. Has nothing to do with being from Trinidad. It has that it's a cousin's friends, uncles, nephews, dogs, original owners, friend. The this story is just. It has nothing to do with that. Maybe he just got an STD. She caught him cheating and called the wedding off. So now it's the vaccine's fault. The vaccine made me cheat and get swollen balls. Get the fuck out of here. It's Nikki not the clap. Stop. It's not the applause, like my bowls, but it's like, that's her excuse. And that she's going to get the vaccine, but not because of the Met Gala, but she just needs to do her research. How much more fucking research do you need? Like, I can't, like, I can't, I can't. They've done the research. 
They, there's nobody's a guinea pig. They had the, tw all they need is 2,500 people to make a, uh, to make an efficacy rate, you know, to find out the efficacy of a vaccine or a new medicine. That's all you do is 2,500 people. They had what, 25, 30,000, 40,000, some crazy number like that, volunteer to take the vaccine early for the uh, testing. That's how, I mean, versus 2,500 that they needed, they had like, like 10 times, 15 times that amount, volunteer. Nobody's a fucking guinea pig. The only guinea pig I see is Nicki Minaj and those lashes. Hey, sweetie. <laughs> hey, that's me. <laughs> God, her and her big, shut up. You, you fucking, you fucking little Kim ordered on wish looking bitch. Shut up. <laughs> I'm so shut with up. You on that. Oh, shut up. Kim's little Kim famous. did it first. You think you're the only one. Now you hate Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B and all these other bitches on the come up. You can't share your place at the table with these bitches. You've got to put them all down. Get the fuck out of here. You fucking stupid ass. Hey, hey. It made bye -bye. me. Bye bye. And it made me realize why Nicki Minaj's husband pleads guilty to failure to register as a sex offender. Remember this story? Ooh, when he yeah. was at that girlfriend when he was 15 or he. You know, when they were both underage and the parents said, you know, put a statutory rape. So he has to register as a sex offender. He pled guilty. He might go to prison because he didn't register. He's like, let me get the fuck away from this bitch because she's making my life hell. I'll go to prison with three hots and a cot and a boyfriend named fucking Billy Ray versus yeah, hanging on with this big fat ass plastic bitch. Ooh. She's gross. Ugh, dude, go to jail. You'll do better. Yeah, I, I got you. Like we I all will... Kool-Aid hair bitches. Yep. <laughs> Kenneth, go to go to jail and get away from her. She's trash. Why don't you you know what would be better if Kenneth actually fucked Megan the Stallion or Cardi B? That would be great. <laughs> that would be amazing. Just to piss Nikki off. She needs to sit. Nikki, have many seats for that big ass, okay? Have many fucking seats. Sit down and shut up. But uh, one for each pound. So you need a stadium. But, <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of big asses that I love and crushed, and I mean crushed the Met Gala, Jennifer Lopez looks rodeo ready on Met Gala 2021 red carpet. <laughs> If this bitch is not one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my entire life, then cut my eyes out. This was flawless. Watching her come in, oh, I was dead. Dude, why are we? Why are we even talking about Kim Kardashian when there are Jennifer Lopez is walking around? Exactly. Well, you saved the best for last, or the breast for last. Nothing. But J Lo. This is how fierce this bitch is. She came in without Ben Affleck so she could make her entrance, honey, because you don't need anything in the way of that. Look at that gown. It's just sickening. Like, oh, that body, that face, that everything is just like, it. oh, honey, crushing that Ralph Lauren. I'm dead. I want, I want this outfit, but you know, it won't look like that on me. <laughs> I look more like Buffalo Bill with a piece of prosciutto hanging off my fucking body. <laughs> I'd fuck me. i fuck me. <laughs> so here's what's weird to me. What's she that? She doesn't get the props. She doesn't get the props. Yet she's hotter and actually talented more than any of the other people we've talked about. Oh, How's she gets. That? Oh, she gets the props. Trust me. Trust me. Not the props. Just, I think she should be number one. Above this other bullshit, Kim Kardashian. Yeah, but she also, because Jennifer Lopez hits a classier audience, believe it or not. I believe it. Like Kim Kardashian caters to the Instagrammers, like the little social media junkies, the, the, the teeny boppers, the 20 somethings. Like JLo was a woman. JLo is a year older than me. And look at how great she is and what a failure I am. You know what I mean? Like, I, it, and she's, you know, she caters to the upper class. 
you know, she's everywhere, but she's more higher echelon. Look at me saying a fancy uh-huh. word. But, you know, Kim Kardashian caters to the Instagrammers and the TikTokers. J-Lo is, I'm in the Hamptons. I cater to the higher echelon. Look at me using it twice. <laughs> <laughs> but, Dropping fucking syllables. you know, she's, she's everything. Like, she's so perfect. And she had to that entrance was just, uh, I cracked my fucking skull open. It was just perfect. I mean, she's okay. Let me, let's look at it this way. Back on the, a couple weeks ago or a week or so ago, it was at the Venice film festival, a, an overzealous fan tried to get a picture of her and got in her face and Ben Affleck fucking grabbed him by the throat and checked his ass and pushed he him off. Know he's from Southie. He's a Southie, yo. <laughs> back off <laughs> do do your boston thing do your boston thing tell him the guy to back off do it do it do it hey you better back the fuck off all right <laughs> you back the fuck off you want to see the back of my fist <laughs> <laughs> i'm from southie i drink sam adams out of a bottle <laughs> i'll drink right out of the bottle i don't need a glass glasses are for quiz <laughs> i watch bruins games all by myself without a shirt on i'm a Nobody man has to show me how to turn on the tv anymore <laughs> <laughs> i figured that out all on my own my mother didn't even show me that. tom brady didn't even show me how to do that listen if tom brady was working security <laughs> with j-lo that guy wouldn't even got anyway. He would have hit him with a ball 200 yards out. He would have been stuck in the pocket. <laughs> 250 pounds of solid masculinity. You see that fucking jawline? <laughs> Gotten soft since he went down to Florida. Because that's, and I think that's why she wouldn't let Ben on the red carpet with her at the Met Gala because all those cameras. No, because all those cameras, he would have fucking attacked every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't fight everyone there's 300 photographers and they're supposed to take my picture i'll fight you all here i'm fighting you all Stop I'm looking Saudi. at my girl she's fucking hot okay <laughs> hey where's matt damon i need backup maybe fucking mark Wahlberg will come <laughs> Yeah, calm down, Goodwill hunting. Relax. <laughs> All right, that's the show. Okay. Um, oh no, the J Lo show thickens. The J Lo well, show. Yep, the J Lo show thickens because while well, she's at the Met Gala with Ben Affleck, crushing the internet, breaking everything. Alex Rodriguez <laughs> hosts Lux Bash at Miami Mansion for his new NBA team. Come on, man. <laughs> He's trying everything to forget about J-Lo. <laughs> you know the pussy is so good that he had to go out and buy a basketball team to just not think about it. <laughs> Derek Jr.'s going, what are you doing, dude? you're just like dude you fucked up bro dude you fucked up at least i only gave mariah carey herpes you fucked up i gave you're taking yeah i not only to give her herpes i gave her a gift basket here's an ipad thank you for your time you've always been a good crowd how's a rod <laughs> but yeah he uh was partying with his new nba team you know uh uh the minnesota timberwolves you know he's what's cc sabatha doing is he crushing any puss or is he he's crushing that captain crunch box uh <laughs> Real, I love he's, that. He is C, he's so fat. He's CCC Sabathia. <laughs> I was so happy when he was 
killing it in the World Series, I'm like, look it, I'm built like an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> no, he the great. I love CC Sablakia. I love him. CC Safadia is the greatest. Because here's a dude that was so fat and out of shape, but like a monster on the mound. And then the moment he decides one season, he's going to get in shape and work out and get his fucking, you know, body fat content down, get a little bit stronger. He blows it. His season sucked harder than I would on Andrew Cuomo's cack. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, it, it sucked harder than me as a fluffer in the Yankees locker room nothing <laughs> but some then guys, and then he got fat again and then he pitched well again it's just some people are just meant to be fat they, not not they, you they, <laughs> i was about to say thank you because you just gave me my reason <laughs> Look, I'm CC Sabata. i need to be fat. Oh, i love cc yeah he's eat, his favorite food is captain crunch he's from vallejo california he's a homie he's a bay area baby I, of course I know about him. Four or five hot dogs and a beer. We're talking fucking strikeout king. You get him oh. on a protein shake. Walk. Oh, walk. he he would blow more saves than I've blown firemen. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh. But otherwise, the, the, actually, I, I will say before we close with the Met Gala, the Met Gala this year, everybody was flawless. It, usually somebody looks like shit. Like, you know, little Nas looked like uh, She-3PO in his gold outfit. You know? <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I'm done. But I love little Nas. <laughs> that was my favorite outfit of the group. Yeah. She-3PO. So... <laughs> <laughs> but the outfits don't stop there and the red carpets don't stop there because we also this weekend had the MTV Video Music Awards. You know, that was still a thing. Exactly. The VMA's 2021 Best Dressed Celebrities, Olivia Rodrigo, Little Nas, and more. And let me just tell you, look at Little Nas. Yeah. Okay, I love, I live for little Nas. Everything she does, honey, work. But this looks like Rick James wearing his mother's fucking bridal dress. You know what I mean? Like, that is the worst wig. It's like, it's like the fourth pointer sister. Like, no. <laughs> but the color was gorgeous but no honey no 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 but that shit is hilarious i love the outfit but it was just i think what killed it for me was the wig like it looked like um uh what was that eddie murphy was that eddie murphy like sexy chocolate chocolate or when Dave Chappelle does Rick James. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rick James, bitch. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> bitch. I'm Rick James, bitch. Oh, I love him though. But yeah, like look at like Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly looked amazing. That Hello. was a girl. Yes. There's yes. Dirty movies that don't show that much. Honey, thank well, good that I don't have to rent them. I'll just look at this. <laughs> <laughs> and Normani, ah, oh, flawless, flawless. I love her. Oh, she's beautiful. She crushed the uh, the Met Gala too. She had this big, gorgeous yellow. I should I should post it right here. This ah, tr- oh, stunning. She both. Huh? She both. Yeah, she was at both of them. <laughs> They're only talking? down the. They're only down the street from each other. Ah. Megan Fox is so hot, except her face looks like she has, like, she looks like she might, you know, need to murder you. Happen. I think she looks like, like one of those psycho girlfriends. If she reads a text from somebody and, and misunderstands the content that she'll stab you in your sleep, like that kind of look, or am I reading mm. too much into it? <laughs> But you know who I thought looked I was great? I more like she needed to get to a toilet right away. With that too. 
Maybe if she took a big shit, she wouldn't stab you. (laughs) Shit, I'm going to piss my pants. Well, in that outfit, you got to hold it in because, you know, (laughs) you don't want everything in. Your penis. (laughs) (laughs) That's a good tape job. Right? Good talk, honey. Good talk. Machine Gun Kelly's vagina looks wonderful in the red outfit. Yes. <laughs> him. Like, he doesn't like women, really. Liberal Achi. God, you know who out? No one's talked about because nobody gives a fuck about her before we uh, roll into the next story. Avril Lavigne's outfit. I love this. I would so rock this. It was a little punk rock, a little it's, slutty, and a it's, little pop. And a, yeah, and a little pop. It's perfect. I'm obsessed with this, and I want this outfit. Obsessed. She's, she's cool. I like her. I adore her. She's adorable. But that outfit, I need that outfit in my life. I really but need it. Rip too. It helps. Like yeah. She had a few of that. That would be shit. Out yeah. She, she has. She hasn't aged at all. She looks beautiful. But yeah, uh, you know. Nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. But you know who has aged on this red oh, carpet? <laughs> Madonna. <laughs> oh. She looks like the ghost after Pac Man ate it. Like what was that? What's that veil on her face? Like, what is that? She looks like a stripper from the Claremont Lounge in Atlanta, Georgia, where strippers go to retire. Well, what it horrible. What it looks like is like, you know, that lamp in your house when you're a kid and the lampshade is just ugly. So kids in high school put like a veil over it to soften the lighting and make it look really cool and hip and like retro, like I used to do. She looks like a lamp that they just put a shade on just to, you know, like a, it's hilarious. Like what the, it doesn't even go with the outfit. Like she looks like a, like a, like the ghost of Playboy Bunny's past. Like it's just tragic as fuck. Who's the dude? Who's the Lyle Lovett does punk rock guy next to her? Oh, it's probably just some, like some like manager or a handler or a bodyguard. Nobody important. I thought we were supposed to know who he was. No, I don't. I don't know who he is. I think it's her man. I think it's her manager. But it it looks she shouldn't have a date. It's like a Playboy bunny going to a wedding at the same time. Like it's just a wedding and a funeral, right? Like she, like she went to Ricky's part of the funeral. Yeah, like she went to Ricky's and got a costume (laughs) and said, you know, I don't know which one I want to be, the bride or the Playboy bunny. So I'm going to do both because i'm a five-year-old like it's so ridiculous and then they show her she's on stage you know bragging about being at the first you know ever mtv awards in 1984 and winning the awards and all that shit yeah and then she walks off stage and look at that ass (laughs) (sighs) like did she have ass implants because she's never had a butt like that before yeah like cool. it's so hilarious. Like, come on, you're 63 years old. I did hear she had butt implants, and that's why her uh tour was on hold before COVID hit. Because tour she was kept going on hold because she had butt implants and they weren't good. Oh, uh, because she was in South America, that's why. Oh, <laughs> two that's two for five. <laughs> Get one cheek by other cheek free. <laughs> Two for price of one, God damn it. Oh, because she never had a booty like that. She always had a nice, small, tight dancer's butt. And now she's got this big, fat ass. Like, no. Now her, now her butt cheeks slide down the back of her leg. Oh. <laughs> Probably made of cement, too. Like those old, oh. cheap, you know, third world butt implants. Oh. Madonna, no. No, mama. No, we love you, Madonna. But no, mama. <laughs> Don't. But the other old hag that was at the uh, awards, <laughs> at least she was dressed. At least grandma was dressed because she's what, 70 something years old, is uh, Cindy Lauper. Fans react to Cindy Lauper's fiery right, woman's rights speech at 2021 VMAs. Let's cut to it right now. 
I love her. Uh, I good. love her. I love her. She did Lopper. All... Yeah, you Lopper, you brought her. <laughs> <laughs> she's just, I, I mean, I feel bad because she's up there giving the speech and everybody's going crazy, but nobody actually knows who she is. They actually do from Kinky Boots. Like all these young fans no, love Kinky Boy Boots. George. No, 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 no. Because she won the Emmys and the Tonys and all that, whatever, all the E's for it. She's won all the, like, she won awards for writing the score for Kinky Boots with Billy Porter. They know her from that. They don't, I don't think they know anything else about her but Kinky Boots. Mm -hmm. But look at her little peplum jacket. You better work, bitch. Really, she's going, oh, we loved you in uh, The Wedding Singer when you played Billy Idol. <laughs> <laughs> we loved you when you came out earlier. I, we're so glad that you went in and put a skirt on over that bodysuit and veil, you fucking ugly old hag. <laughs> Madonna. <laughs> hey, is that Madonna again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like awesome. Yeah, she. Uh, she yeah, she's not playing around. She's fucking badass. At least she knows how to be age appropriate and cover herself up. <laughs> yeah. Well, and she went to the prom with the guy from Something About Mary, so that's cool. Yep. Yeah, and right. I'm going to the prom with Cindy Lauper. <laughs> well, you know who should cover themselves up with age-appropriate clothing because they should never, ever take their shirt off in public again. Poor guy. Shirtless Vin Diesel catches some sun on a luxury yacht in Italy. Some sun? With that big ass, he caught all the sun. <laughs> But he has to change his name. He can't oh. be Diesel no more. No, he's Vin Double Wide. He is. <laughs> <laughs> That's Vin 18 Wheeler. That's not a Diesel no more. That's a trailer. Right. <laughs> Bring it home. 10 4, good buddy. <laughs> Vin Tow Truck. <laughs> Him and Larry the Cable Guy will be doing a new movie this year called Twins. Oh my God, fucking Siamese twins. <laughs> They're conjoined at the gut. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. This is just wrong. Like, what happened to you? That is like dad bod on steroids. Like, that is dad super dude. dad bod. Like, that He's is. Doing a new movie, The Fat and the Not So Furious. <laughs> Fat and Relaxed exactly <laughs> the fat and the curious like is that are you gonna eat that <laughs> i really i always wanted to know what that tasted like are you gonna eat that <laughs> that's the whole dialogue <laughs> you gonna eat that <laughs> did you have the bread <laughs> i live my cold cuts one quarter pound at a time <laughs> <laughs> look at this picture of him holding his belly like he's pregnant like come on maybe he uh, i can't i can't like you just take one big dump you got all that french and italian cheese in there it's like dude how do you let yourself turn out like that and the rock looks like this <laughs> like you, kill you yourself it, christy you want to bring the rock <laughs> Oh, I want to bang him like a screen door in a tornado. <laughs> you want to bang him like a caveman would bang a rock against another rock. Exactly. Because <laughs> you're fucking Neanderthal. I am. I want to bang him like the fucking hunchback of Notre Dame on a fucking bell. <laughs> King jerking it. <laughs> I want to churn his butter. Jesus Christ, Billy. I want to smell what the rock is cooking. Nothing? <laughs> I want to change my name to Rock Bottom. Just pound it out, Dwayne. Pound it out. <laughs> the rock's cooking a tuna sandwich, apparently. Oh, he's having tuna taco Tuesday, honey. <laughs> 
<laughs> There's sound coming out of it. I wish you could hear it. This is the squeak. Are you kidding? If you put your ear up to it, you can hear the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of pussy, <laughs> big pussy, <laughs> Tiger King star and zookeeper Eric Cowie dead at 53. What a waste of life! <laughs> oh, one last meth head on the planet. <laughs> What's that dealer going to do now selling those little $5 bags to? Who is he going to do? Norm MacDonald goes and the Cowie goes. Uh, I mean, it, is there a reason to go on? It's, 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 it's over. Could you imagine Norm and Eric Cowie at the Pearly Gates together? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're the Lion King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loved it. <laughs> great <Lion> movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's great. Yeah, fucking great. <laughs> And this guy looks like he's uh, it's appropriate his name's Cowie. He looks like a Browns fan. Doesn't look like every Browns fan you've ever seen. <laughs> he looks like one of the family members in the Flintstones of the uh the the um the weirdlies like Creepella. <laughs> Remember Creepella weirdly with the hair and the nose, like Joey Ramone? <laughs> he looks like a Joey Ramone fucked. A Leonard Skinner fan and had Kid Rock. <laughs> like it's so sad, but they didn't find any drugs or any drugs or paraphernalia at the scene of his death. That, that that's what the toxicology report. But I guess yeah, apparently the, the guys are... he was with grabbed it before they left. <laughs> but apparently his drug of choice was alcohol. He's an alcoholic. He's an alcoholic. He liked the alcohol. But uh, yeah, so he's uh, he's dead. Who's looking after the cats now? And because uh, you know Joe Exotic's in prison, serving twenty two years, and he sounds off on Eric Cowie's death. He got what he deserved. Oh. Did he though? Did he though? Why? Because he sold you out to the police. Yeah. If he would have let him, if he would have. Uh, stuck up for him, he would have been like, he was the greatest man. Yep, just like Trump. <laughs> He's the greatest. No one's better than no one's better than Eric Cowie. Hey Cowie, watch my kitty. <laughs> <laughs> God, just a mess. That that's he, Middle he America people everywhere are going. Really, this really? guy he got a Netflix special and I didn't. Think about that, Mark. We're not on Netflix and this guy was. Oh. Who is the guy Jack Hanna from the San Diego Zoo? Yes. He made being a zookeeper the classiest thing on the planet. Then this documentary comes out. Mm -hmm. No kid wants to be a zookeeper anymore. Well, that wasn't even a legal zoo. You know that, right? That yeah, was a totally illegal zoo. Everything about that documentary felt a little illegal. Of course it was. <laughs> of course. Everything about it was illegal. Everything, but that's like, that was deliverance. That was our modern day deliverance. <laughs> Sans Burt Reynolds. <laughs> sure got a pretty mouth, boy. <laughs> Want to get married? <laughs> the only difference is, is he married him after he made him squeal like a pig. <laughs> or Ned Beatty's gone. I got no commitment from my guy. <laughs> None. He didn't even buy me dinner. So sad. Speaking of sad. Next one. Charlie Sheen and Denise Richards' kid, their daughter, claims she was trapped in an abusive home. Really? Charlie Sheen, Denise Richards. Didn't really? No, didn't see that coming at all, dude. This was, wow, you feel like you know someone. Got that happy couple. And this little girl complained about that positive, nurturing, hookerless household. 
but it's a it's a positive story. She moved out of school and has friends now. So yeah, she moved out of the house. She had a spiritual awakening. Now she has two cats because she's single. Because all single women have cats. And now she's full of self love and dropped out of school. Well, good luck with that. You're going to end up just like your father, smoking crack off a hooker's asshole in Encino. So good luck. You'll be great. <laughs> or get a couple more cats and go to the Angela Lansbury route. Well, there you go, too. <laughs> watch a little murder she wrote. A little, honey. That's all she's going to watch. <laughs> Cause she's gonna be too drunk to turn the channel. <laughs> Just like daddy, daddy's girl. Mark or Gadonna can relate to this story. There's been many a nights we've had to chain him to a tree to finish his set. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sometimes I think you guys just do it for fun, though. It is fun. I'm not even that drunk, and you guys are chaining me up to a tree. That's what we do. <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm a thing. Thing, thing. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the scene where I come get your money, you better bring your fucking A game. And he looked at me and said, Oh, I'll bring my fucking A game before walking off. Gandolfini threw a cigarette at Patrick. Oh, I said, I said, uh, and uh, he said, when the two actors saw each other again, Gandolfini came in and said, how's your bulls? How's your bulls? I said, they're fine. He said, I'm hungover. Let's do this fucking scene. And when it was one take and he scared the living shit out of me, I was so intimidated. What a fantastic experience. That's hilarious. So this was uh, Robert Patrick. Talk about when he tried to jokingly provoke Gandolfini about coming to work hungover. That would have been better if it was Butch Patrick. <laughs> fucking Eddie Munster. I have it backwards. Hold on. <laughs> It'd been better if it was Buddy Fitzpatrick. See what I did there? <laughs> but yeah, on the break while they set up the lights, Michael and Jim Gandolfini, Michael Imperioli and Jim Gandolfini drank a bottle of wild turkey. Steve Sherpa told Insider they were so drunk that they had to chain their legs to a tree because they were afraid they were going to fall off the cliff. <laughs> That's good uh, acting. So funny. I love it. You should have been on that show. We all should have been on that show, but you know why you weren't? Because you're not Italian enough. Hey, gay. <laughs> uh, I'm so happy I got to spend my birthday with you, even though it was virtually. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. I'm 50. so excited. It is your birthday. I, I, we got to get together and we're going to do a big dinner. Yes, we are. I eat doing big fucking Ginzo dinner. I eat doing. We do big dinner, we do the spread, we do the whole shmee. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? What are you going to do? I forget about it. <laughs> uh, this week, uh, where are you at, my love? And tell I the kitties. Thursday, I am in the Flemington Elks Lodge. We're doing a variety show. We got comedy, magic, a singer. We're all going to be tuxed up, doing a mm. nice and lazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, Saturday, I'm at the Elks Club again, but it's just a straight up stand up show. Uh, Christy, I hope you're not working Saturday so you can come out and join us. I actually have a spot at the Grizzly Pair Saturday night in the eight o'clock show. And Thursday night, I'm out at Tyranny's with uh, Jim Andrinos oh. in New Jersey and Montclair, New Jersey. Montclair. Wait, come down right after. You're only, you're so close. What am I going to do? Walk? Get in the car and you fucking drive down. I don't have a car. I don't drive he anymore. Does. Oh, yeah. Jim has somebody else's car. <laughs> <laughs> well, just let me know what's going on and then we'll okay. figure it out. Yeah. But uh, I love you so much. And I love uh, you. Happy birthday. Yeah, well, thank you, my darling. Thank you. It was, uh, it's, it's, this is it. <laughs> Uh, all right you guys a slice of cake at home get a nice slice of cake you have a little cake a little ice cream everybody thank that 
Christy's here making you laugh every week. And then send her money. Lots of it. Yes. And if you want, I'm a I'm a 36 husky gene. You can send me stuff too. <laughs> I don't. It's not my birthday, but I'll take <laughs> If not, you can Venmo me at Christy Miller. So hey, birthday funds. <laughs> Uh, a buck or two come on you cheap bucks yeah right all right you guys that's been the birthday edition of christy unleashed the page 666 of page sixes and uh you can see us here every wednesday night at 9 p.m eastern standard time right here on the governor's comedy club radio youtube channel you can also follow mark riccadonna at mark riccadonna on all the social media platforms and you can follow me at christy miller comedy on instagram and also on youtube and uh this has been our show and uh you will see us next wednesday you pieces of shit bye